Hi, this is my app called Vining Man, which stands for Vining Manager, and uh, I'm just going to go through some of the basic functionality. Uh, it's intended to have um, e eventually have everything, so this is just the initial phase. Um, right now, I've got the vineyard set up and the vine set up. I have complete vining. Um, I will have a harvesting uh, section, and then there will be a part for the actual uh, analogy. Um, portion of it, so the actual making of the wine and all that to capture details and, and information um, from there. And then eventually I'll have a list of reports and things that uh, can be called up to uh, look at and do comparisons on uh, the quality versus the actions that were taken on the vines uh, throughout the year. So I'll go ahead and start out with the first thing. Here it's a uh, vineyard setup, so I'll go ahead and click this. And it's going to take us to a screen here. Now, I've set it up. Obviously, I'm not going to have more than one vineyard at this time, uh, and most people don't, but you know what? I just set it up so you'd have the opportunity if you wanted to break your own vineyard up into separate vineyards and then have blocks within those um, to just provide that opportunity. Um, in my case, I, I really don't need this, but it was easy enough to add, so I just did it anyway, so maybe one day. Um, so you can see I set up kind of a uh, demo uh, vineyard here in honor of the World Cup which uh, has just started and if I want to add a new record I'm going to go ahead and click here and I'll just add uh, you know a new thing uh, Main Street here we'll just say any town and state we'll keep it in California and uh, you can do a zip code, whichever one you want. Okay, so there we go. We could go ahead and add a Google Map link. Uh, you can do an embedded map code. I was hoping it would show the picture of the map, um, and I'm going to maybe look into that a little bit more later. But once you've got that basic information now, what we'd want to do is then go ahead and add our blocks. Um, and this could be any kind of uh, code or block name description that you want. So uh, in this case, we'll go ahead and I'll just put, uh, uh, let's say you have a home vineyard and you have some vines in the front and the back. So we'll just say we have some in the front yard and we're going to go ahead and create a backyard lot as well. So there we go. If we wanted to at this point, we could then say add vines to blocks and we'd go to another screen. Um, but this screen also links from the, uh, the main form. So if I wanted to go back and change some of the information on, on uh, one of my vineyards, I could go ahead and arrow back and forth um, and check it. I could also search beyond here, and I could search for uh, a vine. You'll see it goes right to the record. So, whoops, I don't want to erase my information. So uh, you just go ahead and correct it. So let's go back to the main screen. OK, here's the next. Uh, Thing is the vine setup. Now when we said add vines to the blocks, um, this is where, this is the screen that it would take us to. So we'll go ahead and click in here. So in here, when I put in, I'm going to see, uh, oh, World Cup. Anyways, we're going to see the vineyards that we have set up. We're going to go ahead and select the one that we just did, and we're going to go ahead and pick front yard. Now, um, what I've done is, that, you know, here you get the chance to add add your vine and uh, you can give it a, a specific ID if you want. This could be any kind of code you want. So we're just going to say, um, I'll just say V1 for that matter, vine location. Uh, let's say closest to house. And then varietal. Um, I've added some varietals here. I don't have every single one. I had a handful of ones, uh, general ones right now. <coughs> In my case, um, I only really have a Zinfandel and a Mourvedre um, training system. Got several different training system names throughout here that you could select uh, and check out. And we'll just go ahead and pick one. And then the date planted, which you're going to go ahead and select a date from the list. And we'll just go ahead and pretend we're planting it on this day. Um, you wanted a second one, it could be uh, by two. Uh, closest to the sidewalk. Whoops. Let's see if I can type. And let's say this is just a barbear or something. Again, picking the 
the training system that you're going to use and then we'll go ahead and pick the sidewalk. Now what I've also added is a possibility for attachments over here so we'll go ahead and let's add an attachment. Let's say you want to add a little schematic of your your vine. We'll go ahead and open it up so you can go back later and see what what that is. Now we'll go, you could then do the same thing for your backyard and front yard. Now a quick note with attachments, um, the Access database has a complete limit, the whole database of two gigabytes. Um, so I would really use attachments sparingly in this um, and a lot of times I'll make sure that they're you know not the highest quality. But um, just for an example, let's say we wanted to pop up and, and take a look at this uh, this thing. So here we go, we've got, uh, well, <laughs> These don't match the one, the codes I put, but anyways, you could go ahead and add any kind of diagram, uh, aerial picture, um, whatever you want um, to it, and just thought it would be useful and fun to add it. Okay, so that pretty much gets everything set up. So now you're all set up and ready to do the work, and uh, that's where the complete binding comes in.